and Sandy Van Soy from Trekking the Planet. We wanted to give everyone a quick update. Um, we are at our last day at sea here. We are actually off the coast of Malaysia, getting very close to Singapore, where we'll be docking tomorrow. And this is sort of a transition time for us. We primarily on our journey so far have been at sea pretty much the majority of the time. Now we're going to do a 180, 360, whatever, and we're going to leave the sea, not see, even see it for a few months, and be going by land. So we're going to be doing that, and then we're also going to be going more into Asia, which we just came into last week. So we thought it would be a nice time to take a few moments and um, talk a little bit about our thoughts so far about the trip, what we're looking forward to, what we're concerned about. And so Darren and I are going to ask each other a couple of questions. Um, Darren, I believe you're going first. Yes. First question. Yes. What part of the trip have you enjoyed the most so far? That's a good question. I think I enjoyed the beginning a lot because it was nice to finally have the trip happen after so many months of planning. So the first week or ten days on the cruise were just great because we could look out of the windows, see we were in the Pacific Ocean, say, wow, it's finally happening. And then I think once that sort of wore off, my favorite part of the trip so far, I would say probably a tie between Great Barrier Reef, um, just doing the snorkeling there, that was really fantastic, all over the visibility wasn't 100%. And then going to Bali, that river rafting was great, and just seeing the culture and, and being in Asia and actually um, just being there and being immersed in the culture for the day was really great. Okay, now my turn. My question is, why haven't we seen more of Darren on the videos? That's probably one of the number one questions we're getting now from students. So, Darren, are you going to be in more videos? Uh, yes, uh, kicking and streaming. <laughs> so I, I feel a lot more comfortable behind the camera and I, I enjoy doing the editing but I don't really like to be on camera but it's something that I am going to learn how to do on this trip. Okay, so you heard it here first, so look for Darren and more of the weekly update videos. Okay, I guess a question for me now. Uh, what part of the trip so far has been substantially different than what you expected? Hmm. That's a really good question. Um, Maybe the internet, although I did have some inkling of how that was going to be because I had been in Italy last summer with our youngest daughter. Um, the internet situation is, is probably, to mildly put it, frustrating at best. Um, we knew it was going to be like on the ship and that's been fine, but when we've been in the ports, um, it's been difficult to find it, it's, it's expensive, we don't mind paying for it, but it's expensive, it's slow, it drops off, it goes on, and we have a lot of needs able to upload things and get things out so I think that was probably a frustration for both of us I think at this point now we've learned to live with that so um, we're getting around it we're getting more efficient getting better at doing things as well but I'd say that's probably and, and also Australia was really expensive I'm not sure I was really prepared for that when we were here eight years ago um, the do their dollar to ours is literally change what we decide 20 or 30 percent yeah so Plus there's been inflation so, so it's even higher yeah so it's expensive so we were feeling poor and not eating out very much and, and cooking so but that was fun too I think I enjoyed that so okay how about I was gonna ask you the same question what's been your highlight so far of the trip what have you enjoyed the most so far I really liked Fiji when we were um, first there it was a tiny little island there's only 200 inhabitants there uh, really felt like we were out in the middle of nowhere, really in touch with an authentic culture. I thought that was that was a highlight. Bali, which we just uh, returned from, uh, how many days has it been? Four or five days. That was tremendous. I really, really enjoyed that. Really would like to go back. Okay, one thing. Well, go ahead. I'll wait for your next question. Um, what are you looking forward to the most in the next uh, couple of months? I would say my number one thing I'm looking forward to is going to Nepal. Um, we were actually supposed to go there um, a few years ago, and unfortunately we couldn't go because we were scheduled to go right after 9-11 in 2001, and because of all that, um, we weren't able to go. Our flights got canceled and we couldn't rebook them. So, And, and then, then after there that, was there's more, been more unrest, so we've had to wait a long time to go. So I think I'm really excited about going. Um, and just being there and, and doing the trek, and the trek's going to be challenging, so I'm a little some trepidation about that too. Um, but I think it's really going to be good, and it's going to be so exciting to see the Himalayan mountains and just be there and, and, and see that culture as well. Um, my question for you is going to be 
about, about the first track, be, track because really, I think that was a highlight for both of us, but I think we were maybe more thinking about other things. But right. on that first track, um, what, what do you think went well, and what do you think are some improvements that we'll need to make for some of the other ones that were going on? Went well. I think all the equipment really worked out well. We, we uh, are definitely limited in what we can bring because it has to all fit into a suitcase. So we went ultra light and ultra small and, and just the bare minimum of, of what we could bring. So, you know, we wore one pair of clothes and then we had one in our, in our backpack and that was it. Um, that's just an example. So I think all of that worked out well. Um, and that was a long trek. It was seven days and we also had to pack for cold weather. So that was a concern. And we needed it. And we, and of course we, we needed, needed it, it, but so. that's like the worst case scenario is seven right. days in cold weather. So, right. so we, we know we have um, the gear that, that'll take us literally on any of our 12 treks successfully. And the other thing is we couldn't bring all dehydrated food, so we had to bring even heavier food. But yeah, I mean, right. the way we, we made, made do with it. Um, I had a small injury um, where my knee was hurting me and that kept me from going to the little excursions that they had some of the peaks and things like that, some of the waterfalls, we basically just stayed on on the on the trail and, and didn't deviate from it. So that slowed me down a little bit. I was somewhat disappointed. Um, my knee feels good now, uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful about the future, but that's always a, a concern that yeah. you hurt yourself at the beginning of the trip and then <laughs> Could have been uh, a lot worse. Yeah, <laughs> cause problems for the rest. Okay. What about your question? One more question for me? Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you miss the most from home? Hmm, I'd say the number one thing I miss the most are our kids. Um, Lauren and Kristen um, miss them a lot. But it's been, been great. We've been able to really talk to them, um, Skype with them, use FaceTime because we all have iPhones, and then of course email and even sometimes text. So I think pretty much every port we're always running for internet to at least be able to converse with the kids first thing. So I think that's worked out really Everyone's well. Everyone's so busy though, I think it's not as much as we'd like to Yeah, it to be. we don't catch them necessarily at an opportune time and we can't necessarily plan beforehand because we don't know what the internet situation is going to be in a given port. Now I think maybe that's one advantage of being on land now because we will know a little bit more, with more certainty we can get internet and we'll probably be able to have it most days maybe except when we're trekking, whereas here it's difficult to have it on sea days and that sort of thing um, with 100% certainty. But yeah, number one. And then of course the rest of our family too, miss them as well. Very much. Very much so. Um, so I would say that's that's for me. So last question for you is um, what concerns do you have about Asia? Any, any concerns you have or any concerns in general you have being over two months into the trip? I just know it's gonna, it, it probably sounds like a really exciting trip to be on. Uh, it, it's, and I don't want anyone to feel sorry for us. But it is a long trip. It's a long mm -hmm. time to be it away, is a long time. and uh, you know, it's just doing the distance. I think is uh, <clears throat> staying up and staying positive mm -hmm. and staying moving. We we don't have a week here and there just to relax as much as I, I wanted to in Koh Samui in Thailand where we just were, just to sit for for a week and just hang out. We we don't really have that anywhere in our itinerary for the next 12 months. So we're we're on the move pretty much constantly, and that's going to be. I think that's going to be a challenge for us, just kind of staying up and staying motivated. Yeah, I think that you and I are both runners, especially you more than me. We've run long distances, and I think one thing that you and I keep talking about is that this whole journey is really a race, and you can't just look at the whole race. You can't, if you're running a marathon or something like that, you have to divide it into the next hour, the next four miles, next six miles, that sort of thing. So I think that's a technique we're employing to do on day 67 of a 424 day trip, if we look at the whole thing, we'd be like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to jump off the side of the ship or something, but but I think that's a lot more along the lines of what you were saying, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I think that's it for now. Anything else? If uh, other people had questions of us, would it be okay for them to email them to us? Absolutely, yeah. That's a good point. I mean, we continue to get questions from from students. We really appreciate all the questions from classrooms, questions on our Facebook page, even from the friends that are following us. We just love the questions. Um, we try to get to them when we can. Um, sometimes, again, we may or may not have internet, so rest assured we'll get to your question in, in you know, a few days or so. But we really appreciate that, and we look forward to hearing from you in the future, and keep those questions and comments coming. Darren, anything else? That's it. Great. Until next time. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.